All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's Christmas time, and I know you're wondering, what are you going to buy your favorite bartender for Christmas? Here is a great gift idea. A decanter set for bartenders or anyone who is at home making their own cocktails, right? So I actually got this gift as a gift uh, last year. Uh, Aubrey, my son's girlfriend, got it for me for Christmas. And I've been wanting to do a, a video uh, for YouTube about it. And it's taken me a whole bloody year to do it. Can you believe that? So here's an unboxing. This is a really cool galleon. Now don't go away because when I'm done unboxing this, I'm going to show you how a cocktail that goes inside the decanter as well. So a couple, uh, a little extra bonus here. This is a galleon whiskey decanter canter set I'm excited I, I, I actually have not had it out of the box this whole year so I've been excited about doing this here we go hopefully I don't bust anything on camera Whoop. all right it's a it's a 28 ounce decanter that's important to know as we make a batch cocktail later on, we're going to be uh, batching a cocktail here for you guys, showing you exactly how to take a really cool gift idea and and take it a step further. It's one thing to give us a really cool gift idea, but I'm going to show you a cocktail to make inside it. So here we are. Here's a really cool solid base here. Really cool. Look at that. Nice solid wood base. All right, and a couple of glasses. Oh, look at these. You know, I'm, I'm decorating my new uh, condo with a uh, with uh, a kind of a travel theme. I travel enough that I'm doing a travel theme. And check out these glasses. They actually have the globe on them. So that's absolutely perfect. Perfect for my travel theme. All right, and let's see what's in here. This is the beautiful. Oh, there's the galleon right there. You got to take a close up of this. Take a look at that. There's the galleon. It's a galleon inside the globe. All right. I love my pirate movies too. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Here's the galleon. Let me uh, be very careful with this globe here. There's one more piece, which is the cap. All right. That clearly goes in the top of here. And this, I believe rests right in here look at this really cool gift set all right that's a cool gift set if i've ever seen one a galleon so now i can put my favorite cocktail in here all right and you all know my favorite cocktail my favorite cocktail is the chocolate old-fashioned so let's uh, let's make a chocolate old-fashioned and get it inside the galleon here i might actually need to find a funnel as well funnily enough so chocolate old-fashioned fitting in there i have the recipe for a single chocolate old-fashioned two ounces of whiskey half an ounce of agave nectar some chocolate bitters i stir it forever and then a little longer but how do i fit that into 28 ounces how do i do that math so first off if you're going to buy this decanter or any decanter like this for your favorite bartender be so kind as to get him some bourbon too, all right? Or his, his or her favorite spirit. I am celebrating today with some Metallica blackened whiskey. Ba 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 ba. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. I got this box again a year ago when uh, when the Batch 100 first came out, and uh, and I wanted to give it a try. It comes with a picture disc or two ah. all right with uh, with the likes of blackened live uh creeping death the unforgiven there's uh, d or 2d with one and battery and pictures of the team there the whole band i actually have a, a whole collection of metallica albums and i'll show them to you one day uh metallica picture discs and look at this this is so cool all right, I am a big Metallica fan. So here we get a, uh, a guitar pick, and here's a cool Metallica blackened pin that comes in this box set, and a book. There's a little booklet here. Let's try to get that out. Pictures of the band and uh, little some stories and, and notes from Lars about the uh, the tracks that that were recorded for this this whiskey here. All right. Let's see if I can get this out of here. There it is. So blackened whiskey 
they uh, they take the whiskey and they barrel it, and as it's being aged, they play Metallica whiskey around it, just like me. As I, as I've been aged, I've been listening to Metallica whiskey, <laughs> listening to Metallica whiskey, listening to Metallica's music, uh, and. Uh, they say that the vibrations from the music make the whiskey go deeper into the barrel and then bring out its own flavors and whatnot. And, uh, and yeah, that may so be. Anybody who's paying really close attention knows that this box is the batch 100 and this bottle is the batch 121 that I just purchased because I could not help myself. Come on, it was a whole year that I was sitting on this. I had to try it. So. I have tasted and, and, and consumed some blackened whiskey. Now let's get back to the business here. The business at hand is we want to make one cocktail into 28 ounces. So two and a half ounces with uh, two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of uh, uh, agave nectar plus chocolate bitters. I'm going to stir that forever, then a little longer, adding one ounce of water to that cocktail. So now I have 3.5 ounces. So 28 ounces, 28 divided by 3.5, 8, 8. So now I have to take my 2 ounces of bourbon and multiply it by 8, all right, which will make this simple enough. Mm. So 8 times 2, of course is 16, which is the volume of this 16 ounce mixing glass. That's because I couldn't pour it right to the top. So here we go. All right, this is batch 121 of blackened whiskey. Coming in, I have some chocolate bitters and some agave nectar. Here we have the uh, cocktail essentials, agave syrup, real agave nectar, and 20% water. That 20% water is to make sure that this does not uh, congeal over ice if I'm using it at home, okay? So now half an ounce of this times eight is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, four ounces four ounces of cocktail essentials agave nectar takes me right to about here there it is now that i can see it all right and dashes of bitters i would normally add two maybe three dashes of bitters that times 16 uh, or sorry that times eight gives me one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ounces or 16 dashes. All right. Let's give this a stir. What we want to do is we want to uh, stir and dissolve the, uh, the sugars from the agave nectar into that. All right. And let's give this a little taste. I get a little a few drops on the back of my hand. Mmm. Tastes pretty good. It's kind of strong. I need to add some ice. Here we go. This is just ice cube ice today. Bloop. Not too fancy. But let's stir that up. We want to stir this forever and then a little longer. Notice how I'm spinning the spoon. The spoon is going around the inside of the glass and stirring this all as one solid piece here. The ice cubes are the most dynamic ingredient in a cocktail. You have to make sure that there's lots of ice because the true skill of the mixologist is the manipulation of the ice cubes. Not just the selection of the flavors and how to mix them together, but it all comes down to how we manipulate those ice cubes. Here we go, all right. Take a few drops on the back of my hand. I, I put it on the back of my hand because uh, it's usually not as dirty as the front of my hand could be. Mmm, I think it's just about right. I've still got some heat from the whiskey. I can definitely taste the chocolate bitters and the agave nectar is just soft underneath, making this uh, nice and sweet for me. Okay, here we go. We'll just pour this directly in nice and slow. Let's go into fast motion right here. 
Let's see. It's not a perfect 28 ounces, but it's really darn close. And it's nice and cold and looks absolutely stunning. If you are going to give the gift of a decanter this holiday season be sure to back it up with uh with a favorite spirit it's like uh, it's like when you give somebody a piggy bank for christmas you want to make sure there's some uh, some money in it here if you're going to give it a decanter let's make sure you can put some cocktail in it there it is one beautiful decanter boom oh just fits here it is some blackened metallica whiskey made into my favorite chocolate old-fashioned. My name is Dean Cerniels. Please like and subscribe and drop, a, uh, drop some comments. Tell me what your favorite cocktail is or what your favorite whiskey is, and let's chat about it in the comments. All right, we'll see you next time, and uh, happy holidays, everybody. Mm. I don't know why I don't do more of these videos, because that's pretty good.